Daily. It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place see, Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Hey, I'm Tim Seaton. I own and operate Timothy J. Seaton Painting out of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Welcome to Pretty Boy Pros, episode 13. Hey, you guys can't park that thing here. What, what are we tell us to move it. Hey, hey, hey. I you, like to hey. move it, move Lip it. on that guy. Hey, hey don't hit Brian. Hey, don't hit Brian. Oh! We need him. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our pretty boy? We oh, ordered it six weeks ago. It's our first day at work. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. All right. We got it. Not too Wind's bad. Wind's break. Wind's break. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, eight, eight fifteen, right? Not too bad. Not too well, I bad. Only, I can't work on ladders. I have a fear of heights. <laughs> okay. And, uh, okay. Maybe, maybe you should be like a wallpaper. <laughs> oh, that's right. You are. Oh. How'd we sleep last night, fellas? Oh, like a baby. Like a baby. Whoa. Woo, it's windy out. No, it's all right. Welcome to my shop. This is what I got. Um, holds everything I need. I like to keep it organized. I do my best to keep it as neat as possible because where I'm working alone, I gotta kind of have things organized so that they can roll out nice and easy. But I got my stock, I got my tools, a couple of sprayers, I got my Titan 440. I got my 
655, hidden over here in the box. Some drop cloths. I got my pretty boy. Woo! Got some tape. Got my masking. Got some free labor. Hey! We got some free on. labor. My crew. My crew. I got my. It's your mini paint store. I got my little handy paint bag and oh, this is my great. install me to brush. Thanks, Dave. Right. Got the linguiça, egg and cheese, Portuguese sausage on a Portuguese muffin. Breakfast of champions in Cape Cod. Yeah, I'll get everything off, and then is it okay if I just kind of clump it in the center like that? Yeah, I think we can work around that. Okay. I think we'll be all right with that. Also, can I put stuff here? I think we can work, yeah. We're not, we're not doing the ceiling, so yeah. we don't have yeah. that total access now. Yeah. Hi, my name is Madeline. I'm the general manager here at The Captain's Daughters. Uh, we are a tea shop boutique art gallery, and we are freshening up our space, and that's what we're here to do today. We got two. So you go from a guy that's, you know, was a building maintenance guy and it gets into the next level, which is a high end finisher. So what does that transition look like? I was doing building maintenance for, oh, eight years or so. And I did a lot of painting during that time. And I, there I just I'll came move. to enjoy the painting a lot more than the fixing stuff that was broken. Um, I have an uncle that was a painter all his life, and I took an interest in what he was doing a long time ago, and that kind of piqued my interest in the painting, I think, in the beginning. Um, and one day I just kind of realized that there's a demand for this, and I might have something here. I might have a skill set that I can build on. And uh, I started focusing all my energy onto this craft, on learning my products, and application processes, streamlining the process, trying to make things efficient, and uh, setting myself up for success as far as being able to provide um, a great finish for people. All right, we got a little Provincetown house of pizza. Ooh, let's get a shot of here. Oh, what do we got on that thing? Mm. Ooh, let's get in there. Get in there, champ. Nice. Guess what, Nathan? You been we, gone? We don't even miss you. Don't miss you at all. Not one bit. Not one bit. <laughs> Why did you leave? <laughs> they don't want him to see me like this. No, I don't want to be like this either. Come back, come back. <laughs> It's pretty much either Provincetown, Toro, or Wellfleet. Yeah, it was super fun. So you've been once, you know. <laughs> this has been an awesome experience. Uh, thank you for coming out for this. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of this whole thing. Uh, it's been an honor. Yeah. Tim hooked us up with a beautiful three bedroom, three bath. We've had a wonderful time. Thank you, Dane Carlson, for being here. He's been helping wonderful. And Nathan Olean with Olean Painting. Uh, so two quick questions, you know. So um, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, five years, hopefully I'll still be here in this area. Uh, I'd like to see my wife and I have a home of our own. And uh, I'd like to see a couple of employees. You know, I'd like to uh, bring on somebody and train them. and. I'd like to be focusing on the uh, the restoration end of the craft and going in that direction. Hey, welcome to episode 13, Pretty Boy Pros with Tim Seaton. Come on in. We usually stay in a hotel, uh, but this time Tim's got us a place. It's one of the local homes on the beach. And me and Dane Carlson and Nathan are staying here. So welcome, come on in. So we're gonna have a whole week in this beautiful three bedroom, three bath. And we're really living the painter's lifestyle. Now some of you guys know me as Brian, the owner and inventor of Pretty Boy Paint Cleaner, right? 
but I'm also starting this new channel on YouTube. It's kind of a lifestyle channel. It's called Pretty Boy Pros. I'm a professional painter in New York City. Dane's a professional painter in Long Island. Nathan's in Massachusetts, and so is Tim. So this is really shows what we do for a living. So please check it out, the products we use, the people that we like, the people we follow. So it's kind of a lifestyle. Pretty Boy Pros on YouTube. So please subscribe. And episode 13 is coming out next week. Microfiber, we got Stallmeister, we got some more microfiber, we got Wooster Lamb's Wool. We got this guy. Alright. Alright, so we're back for day two. We took out some of the sheetrock here where they had a little bit of a moisture issue. We're gonna spray with concrobium. This stuff just treats if there's any mildew present, keeps it from coming back. Just an extra guarantee. We're gonna put some guards on it. This will just lock down the paper so that we don't get bubbles and we don't have any issues. Once that's dry, we're gonna sheetrock over that. We're gonna tape it, hit it with some Easy Sand 20, and we'll be all set to go. We got one coat on all the walls, we got two on all the trimming doors, so doing lunch now, we're going to come back, I'll be ready to second coat my patches, we'll second coat the walls, we're making good time here. So Dane's taking a break for lunch, and we're gonna do a little fast little pretty boy brush cleaning. That's it, because I don't want to leave, I scraped what paint I had in my cup pot into Brian's, because he's still working on some trim, but we're running out to grab a piece of sheetrock, and I don't want to leave this sitting, so what I'm gonna do is just quick, boom, in the bucket, a little hot water, let it fill up, just add some more for good measure. Yeah. He's going to clean it three to five minutes, but he's going to be gone. He can let it sit for, you know. Yeah, it's better than just leaving it in by itself getting all dry. And it's going to help me when I use my brush later to clean it and stuff, you know. Crawl some paint and paper. So. Yeah, you One thing we like to do around here is support our friends in this community. And uh, one of the great friends I've made in this paint industry is Sam the Right Painter on Oahu. And happy to represent hey, you. Hey, no, you got yours on. We didn't plan this either. You I definitely did. didn't. I just seen his and I was like, uh-oh. It's kismet. And this Great minds think alike. With Instagram, we met. Everybody's met. We met Dave. We met Nathan. So you're meeting all these young painters now that are asking you, what? What's your advice to these young guys getting in there? You know, I saw your trajectory from being a guy that's just wanted to be a great painter to a guy now that's doing fine finishes and restoring historical homes. So what is your advice to these young guys in the craft? I guess uh, I'd say don't get discouraged. That's something that my grandfather used to say to me all the time. Um, don't get discouraged. Don't be afraid to fail. Uh, all this stuff every aspect of, uh, of anything you're going to learn really, but in this trade, it, it takes failure uh, to figure it out. It's a trial and error. You're going to fail, you're going to learn from it, and you're going to change what you're doing and you're going to do better the next time. And uh, it's, it's, I tell myself a lot, you can always sand and paint it again. <laughs> so don't, don't get discouraged. All right, Jana, what is a wash ashore? Wash ashore is someone who was not born on Cape Cod, but lives here. And you married one of those guys. I did, I did. <laughs> you, know, you know, the painting is something that 
you have done before as well or you just enjoy him doing it so i've helped him especially when he was starting out early on um but lately because i take care of our daughter i don't have the ability to go work with him anymore so i get to do my own painting now and get to enjoy what i do and it's and fun. I, he loves what he does it's just different types of painting so what we got porco Porco, what is that? It is marinated pork cubes. They've been sitting in a bed of seasoning with uh, coriander, cumin, I'm spilling water everywhere, um, onions, and all kinds of good stuff. Thanks for cooking. This is awesome. Right. Thank you. I like cooking. Dang, oh, this is so Dang, you're going to have to eat outside, okay? <laughs> so, uh, how do you feel that your, your daughter married a wash ashore? Um, couldn't um, be happier. All right. <laughs> he visited for a long time, so it's good. He's good to work. We're good. He's a, he's a good guy, right? He's a good guy. We love him. Okay. Because if he wasn't, again, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> he would be sent back out on the raft. Another show. Yeah. 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 someplace. All right. Well, they, so he's they, cool. He's cool, isn't he? He's yep. Cool. We love mm -hmm. him. All right, here we come in the three studs that are in episode 13. Hey. Who's, whose clothes are you wearing today? Hey, Show yeah. it to me. Show hey, it I to me. I got him. on the pretty boy cap. I got on Tim Seaton hoodie. Paint his Emporium oh, shirt. Oh, you know it. You know it. Nathan Olean. All right, Tim Seaton, who do you got? We got Chris Grundy. We're up in Toronto today, through and through. We love Chris Grundy. Way to go, Chris. What do you got? Oh, what do you hey, got? Fam. Johnny Dater, happy painter. Yeah. And of course, we're in Mass, so you got to rock Tim Seaton's gear. All right, flip it around. Who's Brian All got? Right. I got Mitch Killeen, MK Painting, and I got Tim Seaton, man. Episode nice. 13. Wow, Tim. This looks really amazing. This must have been a ton of work, man. It, uh, it is a ton of work. It's still uh, a work in progress. we got a long way to go, but... Uh, how much time do you think you put into this already? I believe I got 10 days into paint removal so far. Wow. So what would that, t in that 10 days, what would that include? What, what's that? That was, um, well, I st started with uh, moving all the furniture out of the room and everything like that because the clients are not around. Uh, got my site protection set up. That took me a couple days. Uh, seal up the rooms, put down my plastic. Uh, and then I started with the removal, which I applied the Peel Away 1 from Dumond. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I had several days of applying it, several days of taking it off, and then washing all the wood with a sponge and a scrubby pad and some water, letting all that dry, cleaning all that mass up, and then coming around and spraying it all down again to neutralize it. Yeah. Uh, now it's drying, so next week I'll be able to come in here and start actually getting into prepping the wood for paint and some of the other phases of this project. Wow. These restoration projects, I, they're few and far between. You know, you don't get too many of them, but we have a real finite number of these old homes on Cape Cod. And the thing is, everything's degrading slowly. So yeah. once they're gone, you can't get them back. Yeah, it's, right. it's, it's a precious resource out here. We have these homes that have these, this history. You know, every wall tells a story in these homes. Mm -hmm. To me, I can walk into a, a home that's two, 300 years old, and it just starts telling me stories. Yeah, and, uh, yeah there's a lot to that. And, you know, it's, it's once, these, once these are gone, you can't get them back. So for me to have a hand in that story for this home, uh, to get to do my part here, be a part of that story, and uh, have my hand in preserving these precious homes that we have out here and keeping them for the next generation is, is part of what I love about what I do. Yeah, no, I mean, just spending the little bit of time that we have together this week, it's, it's become very evident to me how important uh, this, you know, where you live, your community, and being part of that and being recognized is very important to you, and I think you're doing a great job, Tim. I appreciate that. Three, four, round one. Wonderful uh, week. Thanks for having us. Cheers. This is guys who are uh, the best. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dane. Walk around, see what you like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, all the holes are fixed. Everything looks so good. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home.
It's been an honor to be invited to be a part of this and have my business featured and to meet you guys, to meet a lot of the guys that I've met, uh, a lot of the awesome painters that I've met over the few years that uh, I've been on social media with my business, interacting with people, uh, to meet Dane, to meet Brian, to meet Nathan. And uh, it's, it's not very often you can connect with people in your trade, but it's not every day that you can meet people that you can connect with on a real personal human level and they happen to be in your trade and you all share a passion. So it's been a really awesome week. Uh, this is definitely a once in a lifetime experience. So thank you, Brian. All right, that's a wrap. You're off the hot seat. Remember, please subscribe, Pretty Boy Pros. Have a good one. Episode 13, Tim. Can you see us? Oh, it's just We're going to do it. We're not going to get everybody. <laughs> and episode 13. We'll see you soon, Tim. It's been real. Wish, it, wish us luck on editing. Good luck editing. Safe travels home. And uh, <laughs> I hope I'll see you guys soon. All right. Nathan. Oh, yes, sir. You. Where's Dana? Love you, brother. Nathan's been a great help. And Painters my, unite. And my stepson now. He's on... He's one of my. Uh, I don't want to be adopted by you, Brian. <laughs> Why not? I lived with you for a week. I'll be good. I'll be good. I mean, all right. I'll visit you in this. Wrap, but there's always a seat for you guys at our table. <laughs>